beloved good day welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time i'm glad to have you join click that like button share subscribe hit that notification bell join the family we'd love to have you if you are a one day one welcome back thank you for supporting your girl showing me the love the beautiful comments the donations the bookings, the readings. My family is the best on this channel. <laughs> yes. I hope you're having a marvelous and blessed day. The time is winding down. The clock is ticking. It's the solar eclipse, y'all. I know everybody keeps mentioning it. It's getting redundant. That's because it's going to be extreme and profound. The changes it will afford you will be like no other for any moon in this year, in this decade, but we will never see another one, some of us. 40 years from now, the next one, if the earth is even still around, but I ain't going to go to you, you know. Mm -hmm. The world is changing and it's not all looking well. Looking good, looking positive. So, we have to stay informed. Stay aware of the power that we all hold to manifest our own existence, our own world, our own legacy. So, if you can get out under this moon eclipse on Monday... If you can do a ritual, if you can tap in, if you can receive some of this energy, it's sure to bring you changes that you could not believe would show up so quickly. It is a very wonderful occasion. Do your research, do your homework, know your planets, your alignments, know your elements, what you should use to incorporate in your ritual. In your request, write your petition, go to the water, feed the spirits, toss it in, some money, some coins, some cinnamon, <laughs> some bay, some assorted beans, some rice, some coffee grains to the ancestors, and ask for your blessing to be received and returned tenfold. With God's speed. So now you know, you know. So we're going to go on. <laughs> I digress, but I get excited. When the ancestors step out of the sky. To bless the collected, the universe. Those who have taken the time to acknowledge them, venerate them. Support them, feed them, energize them. And elevate them. We need them. They are our before us. The DNA in our bloodline, our lineage, legacy, they send us gifts, spiritual gifts, gifts of, of, of abundance and prosperity. They hear you, they watch over you, they protect you. You are their baby, their child, their divine, their chosen one. They have much to give you, to pass along to you and your children, your family, land, wealth, status, power. If you are not venerating your ancestors, I don't know what you're doing. If you need assistance on where to go, how to flow, who to tap into. Many say, oh, I don't know my lineage. You need not know they know you. You can call out to ancestors unknown to appear to you, to reveal to you, to come to you in a dream, in a sign, in a word. You can open books and find names and ask to be directed to the correct page. There's so many ways to find your lineage, to tap in to who you are. If you don't have elders who you can contact to get information, I understand. Those greats are gone. Those great 
greats are gone. Some of our grands are gone. Some of our parents are gone. And we don't have a connection to the names, the dates, the signs of them. What they did, how they conjured, how they manifested. The lands that we come from that we're connected to. This is so important in this life we live. It's pertinent for breaking generational curses. For saving, rescuing, and anointing our children and their children. So, someone to be. Come on. What? I cut the deck. I didn't even get to throw out a card. And what did I just call you, beloved? Ancestors, baby. We love you. So much. Time to get out and laugh a little. They want you to remember those good times. When you were a child. When you would play, roller skate, double dutch. I know kids don't do those things anymore. So busy inside playing video games and on the phone and having the cells of their brain just simply eaten away. They forgot to play how to get out into community, find real friends, true friends, not online, where the fakes, the clowns, the imposters can manipulate. Oh, how when we were kids, we roll skate, tic tac toe, red light, green light, <laughs> go swimming in the community pool, and it was safe and clean. Well, for the most part, <laughs> we didn't have. Pandemics, we would never shut in. The weather was seasonal. We knew what to expect. We were happy, healthy, and thriving. Yes? And sometimes I mourn inside for my children, watching them go without these experiences of being a child. And I wonder when the tables will turn, the earth will be renewed and restored. Well, it's about to happen, y'all. I can tell you this is true. We're going back to old-fashioned way, living off the land. People are moving out of big cities, finding forever homes, gathering together, and reuniting, growing, feeding, eating healthier because they know what's in their soil. What are you planning for a better tomorrow? People are losing their jobs. Look at the income. And not knowing how to survive paying these high rents. Buying land. Debt free. Putting a property on it. With no mortgage debt free. Growing your own food. Debt free. There are things that can be done. To change this world for the better. It begins with us collective. That's why we are here. We're not just here to heal people in general, or to bring spirituality back up to the menu, definitely here to reintroduce the ancestors to the world, put them where they belong in the forefront. But we are here to heal the land, cultivate a new world order, bring it in, show people how to break free from the slave mentality and that American dream that no longer exists for you and me. Knock on doors. They will come. Your ancestors are waiting. Waiting at your door for a knock. For a call. For you to reach out. So they can change your life. Tired of watching you cry. Tired of seeing you in fear and anxiety. Tired of you being mistreated. Not chosen. Not recognized. To them you are a star. That was confirmation. That's my star baby. <laughs> Text me. My one and only son. My King Elijah. Just checking in to let mommy know he's alright and to make sure mommy's okay. This is the relationship we build with our children. Our next generation who will oversee us. 
Hello? How do you want to be seen? How do you want to be remembered? Do you want them to remember your needs when you're no longer able to care for yourself? Who have you set around you? Who can you trust? Who can you include? Well, you can start with the ancestors and ask them to bring in what you need, including the right people, the right support, the right tribe and soul family. We don't always, we are not always born into our tribe. We are not always meant to stay where we are born. We grow up, we branch out, we find our own reality and we move on. We wish them well, we send them love, but we know there's a better life. We go with the natural flow of time and we let the ancestors lead us in to the land they built and left for us. Cultivated and manifested for us. We walk in faith. We walk in faith. And faith does not require you to follow any religion. Spirituality is the practice of inner spirit, connecting with the Most High, with the Divine Mother, with the ancestors and your angel guides. You are a spirit. Have faith in yourself. Honor yourself. Study yourself. Learn thyself. Master thyself. Come on now. We're in every season. This eclipse is in Aries season, in Aries, the god of war, the god of judgment, the god of passion, creation, the god of go out and get it, non-conforming, the rebel, <laughs> fire, energy. It is time for you to pick up your own sword. Your own wand, you are the magician. And to manifest the dream come true. Why not live your heaven on earth while you are allowed to remember it? Mm. To live it. All the benefits of it. You could be Aries, sun. You could be Aries rising, north node. Yes. You could be from the UK. You could have ancestors from the UK. You could be visiting the UK. I believe one of the high points of seeing the eclipse may be there. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but look it up. There, Canada, United Kingdom. A United Kingdom. Your ancestors want to give you your kingdom. They are our united kingdom. We are from royalty, kings and queens. Come on now. It is time to grind it out. You're in a season of yes. A season of more. A season of I see it, I want it, I go get it, it's mine. Time to grind it out. Put in that work. Create that project, that idea, start that platform, that book. Put out your music. Teach, lead. Start that store. That charity you want to get involved in. That humanitarian work. Buy that land. Start a plan. Make a list. Give it to your ancestors so they know what you need. They don't want you to forget. While you're grinding, you are the priority. Take care of yourself. Don't overwork. Don't overdo it. Make sure you find time to get out in nature in quiet places. To meditate. To give gratitude. To get downloads, to be sent 
Science of opportunity. Health is your biggest wealth, for without it, nothing else matters. You can enjoy life, love, happiness, or wealth. When you're spending it all on taking care of issues, problems. Come on, ancestors. Speak to us this day. This marvelous, beautiful, blessed day. You hear that? That's my little heater going off and on. <laughs> it's cold over here on the East Coast, y'all. Chilly. This has come out so many days in a row. I'm beginning to wonder that I will have to dive deeper into this message. I have placed this in several videos this week. Do not go. Stay home. You don't have to depend on anyone else. You may be going to meet up with someone. You may be going because they claim they want to give you something. You may be going thinking you're going to receive something, a blessing. Someone is manipulating your energy to get you to come towards them. They believe they can buy your time. Maybe you're in a desperate spot where you're in financial strains and someone has offered to pull you up and pull you out, but your ancestors are saying, don't go. Don't take the bribe. It's a trick. It's a trap. Everything you need is being weaved in a mighty web, detailed, etched out, sketched, just for you. They're asking you to be patient at this moment. Don't supersede God's power by taking control of every moment because you're anxious or fearful or doubtful that you'll be pulled out of this situation. They don't want you to go. They want you to stay home and dodge a bullet. Dodge a bullet. Mmm. Dodge a bullet. I smell the setup. I smell someone trying to harm you. Or trying to put you in a situation where you will be blamed for a situation because you were just there. Don't go, beloved. If that resonates with you, listen to it. Star. The Aquarius represents the star card. We mentioned the star. They see you as this. If you listen and heed their messages, something great will come of all of this. All of the waiting. All of the delays. All of the stillness. The quiet. The loneliness. The rejection. If you wait a Patiently, something great is about to happen. Don't self-sabotage your blessing long-term for immediate gratification. The invite that's coming your way, if it don't feel right, if you and this person have, have not communicated in some time, and all of a sudden they want to reach out a hand in the olive branch, Just say no. Say thank you, but no thank you. I'm good. You may be seeing some of these angel numbers. 222, 444, 777, 888, 1222, and 1011. If so, this message is definitely for you. No matter who they are, cut them off. Even if it brings... You pain. Temporary pain lasts a moment. A lifetime of regret. You may never get over. They told me I didn't listen. I knew better. Could have cost you a lifetime of incarceration. Could have cost you your life. Time. On this planet. 
There is a devil energy in your energy. Your ancestors are talking to you. Please listen. There's healing in nature that is calling you. I mentioned that. Get out on this eclipse. Get out into the grass. Stand by the water if you can. Put your feet in the soil if you can. The grass is growing. Walk amongst the blaze. Hug a tree. Speak to trees. Feed the birds. Bird seed. Not the uncooked rice. As you know, it blows up and it will kill them. Invest in some bird seed. You got sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, small seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds in your home. Make a little mix. Make it fine. Feed the birds. Dry bird crumbs. They are spirit. They are our guides. But they're saying you don't have to depend on anyone else but your bloodline. They got you. They've seen you since you were a child. They've been waiting for you to get to the point where you lean on them so that they can supply you all your needs. What do you allow in your life, in your space, in your heart? What do you allow? The toxic things. The codependent things. Things around you that don't serve your highest good. That cause you confusion. People, places, or things. Addictions, bad habits, excuses, not today, tomorrow, or just a little. When you know it's not good for your health or your mindset. Oh, I answer that call, let them speak, and I'll just listen. I won't absorb because, you know, what are you allowing that you can let go of? What do you allow? What are you not allowing that you should allow? Do you allow love? Do you allow help, support? Do you allow signs and synchronicities? Do you allow differences? To be a guide. To be food. Are you just one-sided, unable to bend, stuck in your way? What are you allowing? It's time to embrace this transition. You're transitioning. You're shedding. You're changing. It's not easy. It's quite painful. Many don't make it. They just... Turn back and say, I can't do this. Everyone chosen will not choose to follow their path. It's not for the weak, for the meek. It's not for the overthinkers. Those stuck in the analysis paralysis. It's not for the doubters. The non-believers. Did I not say this earlier? Come on, spirit. I know you in my... Your answer, prioritize a list for them. What would you like them to do? How would you like them to assist you? What do you need? What do you desire? What do you need to release? To let go of? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? They're asking to prioritize a list for them to help you. Write it down. Meditate and scribe. Drink some coffee or some tea. Sit in a quiet room. Light a candle. Invite the band. And collaborate. Talk to us. They are always waiting. I know we get boggled down with the obligations of life. We get tired. We get busy. We get distracted. We may call out once a week when we're in pain, when we need, when we're in need. 
but they're asking for consistent contact, communication. They're asking for you to really tap in, really connect, really dive deep into this ascension. There's more waiting for you. So much more. They want you to go, come, go, come, go, and get it. Receive it. Believe it. And achieve it. Now, those cards fell on the floor. I'm not going to pick up every one. But the ones I see face up. What did they teach you? The lesson, the pain, the rejection. What did they teach you? Whatever it taught you, it's time to show your naked truth and remove the mask. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be like the popular ones. Don't try to be what everyone needs you to be. You're now a healer, a teacher. Don't try to be Mr. or Mrs. Fixer Upper. That is not what it's about. We are a collective and we heal the world by the example of how we live, how we move, how we speak. We don't have to take on charity cases and overwhelm ourselves and pour out more energy than we receive. That is not what being a healer is. You live well, you look well. You eat well, you smile, you look happy. And others want to be that. And that is healing energy. And it costs you nothing just to be. Remove the mask. The day you feel pain, say it. The day you want to cry, do it. The day you're angry, yell, scream it. But go how you feel. Oh, I don't want to let them see that I'm, you're too worried about them. Oh, they, they can't, I don't want them to see they got the best of me or that I'm not thriving. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they think? They helped you in this situation. Are they really entitled to your thoughts or your energy? There are others that need to know that you're human. And that you go through human experience. And that you can share that. And stories of survival. I got this morning. I wasn't in my highest positive energy of thought. Things were not working out the way I need them to be financially. I started to worry. I started to go back to that. Maybe I need to do something about a mentality. I laid down and I took a breath and I prayed and I meditated and I changed my focus, got rid of the distractions and suddenly my phone started going off. Things started moving. Changes came in and boom, bills were being paid. And I was like, whoa, all I have to do is lay here and be grateful for what I already have. And know that everything I need is provided with God's speed. And speak it into the universe and count to three. Yes, it was that easy for me. And then I had to go back and pray for forgiveness, for fear, for doubt. For allowing this human flesh to try to win. To move me in a place of negativity and lack mentality again and again. They said someone will come to help you, assist you. We know what you need. You've made your list. Patience is all you need. And I'm still growing and I'm still learning and I'm still transforming. Because I'm still in this human body. Living in this human world with all types of energies around me. Trying to get to me and in me. You know, if you've been with me from the beginning, you know. 
But I'm here to tell you, beloved, things can change in an instant in your favor. In an instant in your favor. If you simply tell it to do so. And believe they will listen to you. Where is your energy right now? Where is your energy right now? What are you giving it to? What is it costing you? Is it in fear and lack? And stress and anxiety and doubt? And anger, bitterness? Are you unforgiving? Or are you elevating positivity? High in your faith and your belief. Praising and being content in every circumstance, knowing that it will change. But you need it to change. When you're able to receive the change and do well with it and manifest it abundantly to the benefit of others as well as yourself. Check your energy. Check who's in it. Is it yours? Where's it coming from? This is another card that is continuous in my ancestor readings. It's time to dive deeper in your divination, in your spiritual practices, in your connection with source, in your connection with your bloodline, in your practices, your rituals for the morning, for the evening, throughout the day. Meditation. Are you writing? Are you journaling? What are you doing to set some organization in your spiritual practice? Are you including things, new forms of divination? Do you read tarot? Do you throw rune bones? Do you swing the pendulum? Do you let the Ouija guide you? Are you using gemstones? Are you an herbalist? Are you studying, reading those books? Are you tapping in to the angel numbers? Are you writing them down, looking them up? Are you following the signs to those opportunities for more to come? It's time. For when you release the old, here comes the new. Self-explanatory. Cast your fears. Upon your bloodline, they're stronger than the devil that's trying to break you. They're stronger than that rejection. They're stronger than those family and friends that won't support you. They're stronger than the vices trying to keep you stuck, stagnant, down, delayed, blocked, betrayed. You have to let them go. It's time to fly solo. You have to let them go. Things you're holding on to. People you're holding on to. Whatever the vices are. It's time to let them go. And go on your own. Go on a journey. A shamanic getaway. Out in nature. Book a weekend Airbnb or somehow something. Where you can be alone. Where you can hear the voices. In the quiet, in the silence. And do not go somewhere and turn on the TV and get on your phone. If you find a place, unplug the television. It's that first thing you walk in. Put your phone down. Text those who are important to you if you have children. Let them know you got there safely, but they won't hear for you for a while. Because it's you time. Clean your space. Set a place. And tap in. And if you don't have money to get away and you have a home, you have children, find someone that will help you to empty out your space for even a day. Unplug. Unconnect. Zone out. Open the windows. Dust. Clean. Let the air blow through your home. Light your sage. Clean your space. 
if you need distractions because the pride is too much, then put those electronic devices on Zen music. Shaman drums or flutes or Native American. Some kind of tune, tone in your home that can ward off evil and bring in positivity and healing sounds. Sound baths. Find out what megahertz holds to your heart. Opens that crown. Be who you need as a child. I did a reading yesterday and about five of these cards are coming out again. So someone who obviously didn't see that video or didn't check on the video, didn't get that message, they're calling to you again. Again. Trying to get your attention. Again. That is for someone. If you know, you know. I'm not going to dwell on that because I'm not giving the energy time in this video. But you know what you need to do and you know who they are. Take heed to the message earlier about being tricked, trapped. Because you're definitely being watched. I know I am constantly. No, of course by you, but how my haters too. They hate to love me and love to hate me simultaneously. It's okay. I see you. I pray for you. I still love you. I just can't be around you, communicate with you, lay down with you, be there for you. Because right now, I'm being there for me. Because you couldn't be, wouldn't be, chose not to be. But it's okay. We must continue to go our separate ways and do right by what we created. And you know what I mean. To be happy means to make amends, to do right, to get rid of shame and guilt. It is what it is, it was what it was, to grow, to let go, to forgive, to move on. There were good times, not as many as the bad, I will honestly say. But hey, lessons were learned. There was a reason for our seasons, and now there's reason for our endings. You don't find love. It simply finds you. You'll know it when you feel it. Stop chasing. Stop wondering. It's not your time. They are not the one. But there will be. in the love you find, the love of a lifetime, will replace all negative energies of the past. Yes, right now you may feel like it's that person, but it's not. But you already know that. The ego often wants what it wants. You've grown up. And your parents don't understand you. Come on now, spirit. Who do we need to let go of and fly so low? If you're chosen like me, and you dropped conformity to all religious, religious rules, the way you were brought up, the way you were told to move, what to do, now you're becoming your own king, your own queen, and you have old-fashioned parents that are stuck in their old-fashioned way. Thinking you will only make it the way they did. Or didn't. Hmm. They're not going to understand these next seasons or the journey you are about to embark on. And that's okay. Love them from a distance. Let them know. But do it for you. For the next generation that needs to be taught different, better, 
another way. Because there are always other ways. Everything doesn't work for everyone. There's a reason for that. So forgive your parents for not supporting. For not understanding. It doesn't mean they love you less. It just means they can't love you the way you want more. Because you are not just that little child who needs to be led anymore. And that's okay. Forgive them. For that old way of thinking, they got it from somewhere. It's who, how they were built. And it worked for them. Forgive them for not understanding the next generation. They simply cannot. As many of us can understand our children. <laughs> but those of us who are breaking curses want to, strive to, Find ways to. And that is a curse already being broken. Learning how to support your children's own decisions. Whatever they choose. And not take it personally. They won't go or go the way you want it to. Or do how you did. Or follow the... They may be rebe rebellious like you. If we move you away from it, we will move you towards something better. Ashe, ashe, and ashe. Don't worry about everyone you're losing, everyone you lost. Don't worry about being alone. Don't worry about the abandonment, the rejection. Don't worry about it. They moved you away because they got something better coming in. That you should be celebrating. And giving thanks in the... Okay, I'm not going to act like I didn't see that. Because it stood out. Give it to me again, ancestors. That is who you are. Capricorn energy on deck. It may be heavy in your chart, the leader, the boss, the entrepreneur, the go-getter, the master manifester, abundant, the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the devil, my world, my way. Be ready to fight for yours. Hold yours down. Have dominion over your realm, your kingdom. Your queendom. Come on now. You the goat. You the in charge. As a siren. And balance. You will leave people behind. There are people right now that feel very hurt. By your absence. That need your healing. And you to rescue them. From the pain they've caused in your life. And now in their own. Karma is bitch. Hello. Hello. Let them move away from you. Let them be carried away. Be ushered away. Let them be removed from your energy. You had to heal on your own. Yes. You had to elevate on your own. Yes. Well, you and your answers. It's in the spirit, but you know what I mean. So shall they. We're sending you the love of a lifetime. Come on now. Come on now, ancestors. You're not going to spend the rest of your life alone. The second half is about to be the best half. Know that. We have Japan here. You 
You could be of Asian descent. Your ancestors could be of Asian descent, Asian and African. Belize. Malaysian. Somehow Japan could be important. You could want to visit. This could be on your bucket list. There could be, you could be a Buddhist. There is, there may be something waiting for you in Japan. The found change. Or you could simply be a Japanese. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. They're telling you, it's time to dry your tears, beloved. They got you. Self-love came out. Communicate your needs again. They're waiting for you to tell them what you want, what you need. Trust them to know that they will have your back. That you will be provided for, taken care of, that you are favored. Love is not meant to cause you pain. If it did, that one love. Not the definition of what love is. They may have thought they loved you in their own toxic way. They may have loved you the only way they knew how. If they were toxic, it was. But love doesn't cost you pain. Love is healing, strengthening. And you're about to get the love you need, the support you need. I know some of us are not ready, but they know what time you're on. You will not get this person before you're ready or before they're ready. You're both evolving at this very moment. And because you are, you're dodging bullets. You're dodging bullets in places where you cannot even see. That that brings you back to that. Do not go. Do not meet up. Do not second guess. Do not overthink it. Do not feel obligated. Do not be desperate. Or needy. Or greedy. Do not. Supersede this message. They are protecting you in more ways than you can possibly imagine. Allow it. Cling to it. Believe in it. Utilize that energy. Okay? <laughs> okay. That's the end of this message. We thank the ancestors for bringing us confirmation, clarity, and warnings every day. We sit with them in high places. We listen, we learn, we study, we ingest. We receive favor and blessings. This world cannot give. If you resonated with this message, if you received your blessing, please hit that like. It's the last time I'm going to mention it. Subscribe. Join the family. Hit the notification bell. Why not? Share the video if you can. Warn someone who needs to be warned, who might not see this video. A friend. Someone you know that's in separation from someone toxic. And is reconsidering, maybe a reconciliation, a get together. If you know about it, send them this message. If it resonates, let them get it. Save a life. If you need to book a reading, you need to donate. If you'd like to donate, <laughs> you'd, like to, you'd like to purchase one of my decks, or get in touch with me and just have a chit chat. Send me an email, book on my website, let spirit flow through you, and follow the lead. Until we meet again, enjoy this beautiful day. The sun is coming out, the clouds are looking fluffy and beautiful and bright. 
Beautiful changes are on the horizon, beloved. Be ready. Get yours. And don't take no for an answer. Have a beautiful day, beloved. I shake.